For this example, I brought with a function uh, 2 thirds times the quantity x squared plus 1 all to the 3 halves power. I also brought with from our um, previous work our length, arc length formula. Uh, we're going to integrate. Now this example said arc length s, so I used an s instead of the l that we did there just because that's what the instructions on this sheet said. And then I used the notation since I have f of x at function notation. Instead of writing dy dx, I wrote f prime. Uh, of x and quantity squared and then our differential dx. So I'll just uh, rewrite this. So I just rewrote it a little bigger, easier to see and we want it over the interval indicated from 0 to 3. So I'm going to put a 0 here and a 3 here. I need my derivative so I can square it. Put it all in here. Add 1 and then take the square root of it. So I'm going to do that work right here. I'm going to find uh, the first derivative uh, then I'll square it and I'll see what happens. Did a little bit of work here. I'm, I found the derivative. That was quite easy. Uh, and what I'm doing now is I'm squaring it. So I can say this is the derivative squared. So it looks like we're going to have some uh, x squared plus 1 times 4x squared. And I'm going to distribute that through there. And then I've got my f prime of x squared. <clears throat> what I'm going to notice then is here's my derivative squared, and that's going to go right in here. I'll do a little simplification. We It looks like we're going to luck out a little bit on this one because we'll have, uh, well, let's see what happens. We have that plus 1 in here. We're going to have a perfect square, 2x squared plus 1, that quantity if we square it. Uh, kind of lucked out on this one. Let's write that. So here's our perfect square, 2x squared uh, plus 1 squared. You can see how we kind of lucked out with this one, which will make it pretty easy to uh, evaluate. All right, using our fundamental theorem of calculus, this one was easy. I didn't have to do any u substitution or anything like that. It just was super easy. So we get 21. That's the length of this right here. 21 units. Well, I think now it's time to build a little calculator program. I think this will be uh, fun and pretty easy to do. So let's use this one as our example as we grab our calculators and we're going to write a little program. Now one of the things that we're going to have to do right away is make sure that we prompt our A and B. We're going to grab our calculators, make a program, we're going to prompt for A and B. Uh, we're also going to use the numerical feature in our calculator uh, to find the derivative numerically and um, integrate numerically. So we're going to need to do both of these. It would be in our best interest if we put our function then in some place where we can do these things. So we're going to put f of x into y1. So I'll clear this up a little bit and then we'll see what we can do with uh, this formula right here. We're going to want, if we put our function into y1, we're going to want the derivative of y1 right in here. So we'll grab our calculator, press program, and we're going to create a new program, and we'll call it arc length. It only allows eight characters, so we missed the H on it, but I think this will work out fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, first put program clear home. And then I'm going to put a display. What I'd like it to do is I'd like it to display some text. So if I want text, I need the quotations around it. And I just want a reminder that um, f of x will equal, it's under, the equal sign is under your test, by the way. We'll wrap that up with quotations. I want to display, oh, oops, I want it to equal y1. There we go. 
like this. That's just a little reminder. Put your function in Y1, and then everything else will be done uh, with the calculator. Obviously, it needs to prompt from A to B. And what we're going to do is we're going to say then, uh, let's integrate this 1 plus our derivative of y1 with respect to x, and we're going to square that thing. So here comes um, some calculation for this. We're going to call up our function integrate, function integrate, and what we'll do is we'll integrate, um, let's see, we want our square root of 1 plus our derivative of y1 because we're going to have our function into y1. So I'm going to call up our uh, numerical derivative feature, but I will be squaring this. So I'm going to just open with a parenthesis right away. There it is, number 8, numerical derivative feature, and I want uh, the derivative of y1. Uh, because it's a numerical derivative feature, it's going to say uh, with respect to x, and it's going to let x equal x. So we're just going to use the numerical feature for this one. Close parentheses. So that's just saying the derivative uh, with respect to x at x, and we'll square it. Just remember our formula gets squared. Um, so the function integrate now, this is this part here is just the derivative of y1 with respect to x at x, and it's squared. Uh, but what we have to do now is we have to say, let's integrate with respect to x. So we've so now we're back to the function integrate here. Integrate with respect to x from a to b. There we go. And we'll seal that one up. So I'll have to count the parentheses, see how we did with this one. So we've got our function integrate from A to B of uh, all this. And so we're going to store it somewhere. I'll just store it to L. And then we can display L. Alright, I paused the video and I was counting up my uh, left parentheses and my right parentheses and I did notice that I forgot um, there, there should be a parenthesis right after this one here because the numerical derivative feature here, remember that's got to be squared, so there needs to be a parenthesis in there. In fact, when you count them up, you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I knew there was a missing parenthesis in there somewhere. It should have the same number left and right. And it actually, it's right here's where I need another parenthesis. So I'm just going to go insert and then a parenthesis here. There we go. And it drops down. This looks better. I think we should be in good shape. But just counting the parentheses sometimes is a helpful technique. So I'm going to leave and let's put something in Y1 that we know. I'm going to use that example uh, that we just used. All right, the example we previously used, and we found the arc length from 0 to 3 was 21 of this function. So I put that function in, and I'll go to my home screen and call up my arc length program and see if it works. Uh, so A was uh, from 0 to 3 was the example we used. Yeah, there we go. Get a little rounding error in this, but we have some numerical support for it. So there's a program that will give us our arc length.